Hello and welcome to Van Dragon Studios. Here we'll be talking about the upcoming 1D&D, &D, what it is, what we hope it will be, and what we might change from what we've got. Hello, welcome to Van Dragon Studios. This is my very first episode. We will be covering the two new spells available in the expert PDF for the 1D&D. &D. We're going to begin with Barkskin, which is a second level transmutation spell. Primal, casting time, bonus action, range touch, components, verbal, somatic, material, a handful of bark. Duration, concentration, up to one hour. You touch one willing creature to protect it with regenerating bark. Until the spell ends, the target's skin assumes a bark-like appearance. And at the start of each of the target's turns, the target gains a number of temporary hit points equal to your spellcasting ability modifier plus your proficiency bonus. At higher levels, when you cast this spell, using a spell slot of third level or higher, you can target one additional willing creature for each slot above second level. Overall, I like this. I mean, the uh, static 16 to armor class was okay, but it wasn't anything to uh, get excited about. Starting at fifth level, you're regaining six hit points around up to 11 points around at at your highest levels especially you know starting at level five six points around is a real lifesaver and it's going to go a long way towards keeping your tank going now we'll move on to guidance which has one caveat on it that I do dislike. Otherwise, the spell has been vastly improved. But boy, what a hang up. Guidance is a zero level divination spell available to divine and primal casters. Casting time is a reaction, which is an improvement. Range is 30 feet, which is an improvement. Used to be touch. Components, verbal, somatics, no change there. Duration, instantaneous. Used to be concentration up to one minute. So that's a nerf. But not really because the check only really applies to one roll anyway. You channel magical insight to the creature who failed the ability check. That creature can roll a d4, add the number rolled to the check, potentially turning it into a success. Once a creature rolls the die for this spell, that creature can't benefit from the spell again until the creature finishes a long rest. That last part is a major nerf. You can only cast Guidance on each of your party members once a day. Yeah, this is a cantrip. You're supposed to have unlimited castings of it. I understand that uh, casting Guidance on every roll could lead to, you know, major imbalance. But at the same time, when it's not sure I like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. So let's give Barkskin a big thumbs up. At least in my book. And uh, let's uh, make sure to take the survey so we can tell them that Cantrip's only being able to cast once a day per person is a real waste of a Cantrip slot. The point of a cantrip is you can cast it anytime you want, as many times as you want. 
only once a day on each character is overly limiting for a cantrip. If it were a spell, perhaps. But wasting a cantrip slot that can only be cast once a day on each character sort of undoes it being a cantrip. That's it for today's show. Let me know what you think. Am I wasting my time here? Or if you're interested in more, give me a good thumbs up. If not, well, leave a comment and tell me, hey, don't quit your day job. Which is good because I don't have one. I work nights. So have a good day. Thanks for listening. Van Dragon out.